Well, we now come to a point where we're looking for people who have uh, access to the internet, who like movies, who like to support uh, Isle of Man potential here to help Olivia Holreiser, who's joining us here from London now, um, gain gain a, a position in in. Well, explain to me, Olivia, what is it? You made this short movie, but you're you're in a voting system, are you? So I entered a short film I made called Little Boxes in a few film festivals earlier in the year, and it was recently accepted into the London Liftoff Film Festival, which this year is online. Okay, so you, you made this on the Isle of Man. I mean, you don't sound. Uh, as if you come from here, we're, we're, you know, got this American bit in your voice there, is that right? Um, yeah, I was born in California and I moved to the Isle of Man when I was nine. So I'm 19 now, so it's almost a direct split. Oh, you're, you're Manx now, you know, you're, you're stay over. Well, yeah. obviously you're, you're at university, aren't you, at school there in, in the UK. Um, tell, tell us about this film, we've got a little clip we can play as well. Little Boxes, what's it about? Well, it's about the relationship between a little sister and her big brother and how it develops as they mature and how their differences and their mindsets contrast and then they come back together. And what was the specification? It had to be very short or were you given a bit of flexibility? Because sometimes these things are very rigid on, on competitions like this, aren't they? It, it was very free. Um, I think some of the short films in the selection are half an hour long so mine's definitely on the shorter end and they're all so different um one of them i watched is a really funny movie about a man who grows a pineapple man and another one was really interesting and a little more abstract and some of them are foreign so it's got a real mix of films that are all really different so it's really nice to see and back to this film festival, it's a voting system, as you say, it's virtual this time round. I think you were, last time I checked, you were doing pretty well in the in the voting categories, aren't you? Yes. Last I checked this morning, I am in first place. Oh, wow. Close between first and second. I think mine's at like 35% and the one below is at 20%, so it's quite close. And what would it mean to you to, to win this sort of prize? It'd be a, a real surprise. I never really looked at myself as a filmmaker until I had to do it for A-level film. And then I had all these people sort of believing in me and telling me that this film was great and I should put it into film festivals. And even when I did it, it was sort of like, oh, it's like you, Cass, I'll just like send it off and we'll see what happens. And getting the email that I had been accepted into a film festival was a huge surprise because through the year I was sort of getting rejection after rejection, which wasn't too upsetting because I really didn't think much of it. I was like, this is just like a film I made by like with my friends. And so if I won, it would really just mean a lot because I never saw myself doing that. <laughs> do, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to be going to, into films and things or you got other plans? Yeah, um, I'm currently studying musical theater but I'm hoping next year to move into a BA in acting or musical theater with an ultimate goal of performing either on stage or on screen. And I love sitcoms like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Parks and Rec and The Office. So I, I would love to be in something like that. But as soon as I watch a film that I love, I'm like, oh, I want to be in The Avengers. I want to do this. So anything, really. How much disruption have you had with, uh, with COVID to your learning and, and where you've been doing things? It's been very interesting. Um, when I was in sixth form and everything, exploded like it did i was really lucky my school sort of transferred over really quick they were telling us in our last live lessons if this happens here's what we'll do here's what you need to do because i was doing my a levels and so it seemed very very serious and i was very lucky they used google teams and they used zoom and they used google classroom they tried every single thing they could to make sure that we were still learning and still working hard and it was a weird experience but it was really helpful to see how much I really do motivate myself and how important it is that when there aren't people at school saying, you need to do this, you need to do that, that I'm able to say, I need to do this and I need to do that. So that was really, really helpful and interesting. And, and have you got uh, any wishes to get back to the island for Christmas or is it easy just to stay where you are rather than go through the two weeks lockdown? Um, I am staying in London as my brother from America wouldn't be able to come to the Isle of Man, so that way I'll be able to see him. But it was 
sad knowing I wouldn't be able to come to the Isle of Man. I think your mum's down there quite often and your dad, everyone knows your dad, I should just say, you know, from his days in the e-gaming business where you well known. Uh, <laughs> is, is he going to get down there? Yeah, he, he's come to visit as well. Well, we wish you well. Now, if people want to put the vote in, we should get this clear. Where, where, where do they go and what's the procedure? So there's a link that has been made um, that I can share with you that brings you straight to the process to buy your ticket and then that will send you an email that says here's your link to watch the films and here's your link to vote and so they can watch the films as they please and then they click the voting link and they say this is my favorite film this is my second favorite film Bing! and you're done well we're always keen to support uh, people from the Isle of Man and 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 I just hope you you, you win on this and uh, your career goes on an amazing journey. I mean, that's the fantastic thing these days, isn't it? You, you don't know where things might actually go. It's just things like this can just crop up and change your direction. Yeah, yeah, thank you.